<laughs> we're gonna do some sand paintings today and I did a real simple one this morning just to show you I did a little heart and I did a moon my sand got left outside <laughs> well actually it was sand from outside my house and it was wet so it was a little hard to work with so I hope that if you've got some supplies today that your sand is dry you can still do it with wet sand but um, don't be like me <laughs> um, uh, with the wet sand it's just a little harder to work with so let's get started and um, we'll do a simple one first and then we'll kind of take off and do some variations of what we got so today before we start um, you're gonna want something to put your sand painting on this is a piece of cardstock but you can use any kind of cardboard that you have. Um, you, can, you can use a cut up piece of box. You can use a piece of poster board and some cardstock. And I have a couple of different colors. So if you, basically you can use some white, but I've got green and black and we're gonna see what happens with those. And of course some sand. My little bucket of sand over here. And if you want to protect your countertop, um, you could do it on top of a tray or inside a box. Um, I have a box lid because I am really messy <laughs> and sand gets all over the place. Um, I have um, some sticks because we're going to hang it up later. Or, you know, if you have just a wooden dowel, <laughs> that works too. Um, so let's get started. Oh, and some shapes. I have some cookie cutters. Brought my little cookie cutter, but I have a whole bowl of cookie cutters to choose from, so we'll try to do some things. And um, then I printed out some shapes, but you can draw your shapes too. So let's get started. What I'm gonna do is change my camera so that you can see what I'm doing on the table. Always do that. Let's make sure that you can see this on screen really good. Oh, and there's some glue and a paintbrush too. So the first one I'm going to do is just a real basic one. And I'm going to do it on a small piece of white cardstock. Now, what shape am I going to do? Um, there's, there's a way you can do it by either drawing a shape on a piece of paper, I drew a star, or um, you could use a cookie cutter. So let's do one where you draw where you draw your own shape, like that, and make a stencil out of it. And that's kind of a fun thing to do. So um, if you draw a shape, let's pretend you drew a a moon. Okay. So I just drew a half circle with my moon, and this is how to make a stencil out of this. So I'm going to pinch my drawing. If you draw your own shape, you could draw a moon, you could draw a fish, you could draw anything that you could think of. It's a nice shape. So to make this into a stencil, see how I pinched that? Then I'm going to take my scissors and clip it. A little bit right there. So now I have a hole that I can stick my scissors into and cut around my moon shape. So that's how I'm going to make a stencil. So I am cutting around my moon shape. See that? And down around the other side of my moon shape. And so if you're drawing your own shape, you could draw like maybe a cat or a dog or a house, all kinds of fun things. There we go. And there's my moon shape. And I made a stencil out of it just by pinching it. Then, of course, I have an open moon shape, too, that I could use for something. Okay, so here's my, here's my shape. And I'm going to hold it down onto my paper. There. And here's where the glue comes in. That's where I want my moon to be. So I have some glue in a little cup here. I just squirted a little bit into a, a little cup. Whoops, uh, <laughs> wouldn't squirt. Now I'm squirting some glue into my cup. And 
Okay. Now I have a, a foam brush today, but you can use any kind of kind of big brush that helps. So I'm going to hold my stencil down on my paper, or if you have trouble, you can kind of tape it if you like. But I didn't have any trouble, so then I just dabbed a whole bunch of glue in the opening of that stencil, and I and it kind of stays put because <laughs> it's glue. So. Glue, 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 glue everywhere on my the opening of my stencil. And I'm getting a, a lot of it on there. There we go. I think I covered it all. Now, I'm going to put the glue aside for a second because I don't want to get sand in my little cup. And I am going to pull off the stencil. Now, on camera, I, I think you can kind of see where it's a little bit shiny there, where the glue hasn't dried yet. And so now I'm going to take my sand and I'm going to shake it all over my paper like this. And what's going to happen is kind of fun to see the sand, especially if you have dry sand <laughs> instead of wet sand. Well, the sand is going to stick to where I put the glue. Now I put a lot of sand on there because I wanted to make sure that I covered my move. Okay, so there we go. I'm patting it down just a little bit, but if you have dry sand, it'll, you probably don't have to. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my bucket back in here because I'm gonna try to get some of that sand back in the bucket. It doesn't look like anything right now. No shape shows up, but watch. I'm going to put my sand in there. And look, my moon shape showed up. There it is. <laughs> Very cool. So that's how you do a stencil. So I'm going to do another shape. If you are working with some cookie cutters to draw a shape, um, there's a couple of good ways that you can do it. I have. A cookie cutter. It's a heart shape. And I'm going to put it down there. See how this is one of those raised cookie cutters? Now you could do two things with this. You could just draw your shape and make a stencil and do what I did with the moon. Or since this has raised edges, you can take your glue. Whoa, my glue isn't coming out very fast. <laughs> And I used it all up for that time. So here's what I'm going to do. Squirt some glue back in my pan. There we go. And take and hold on to my cookie cutter and glue up my cookie cutter. <laughs> it comes off. You don't let it dry. And I'm getting the glue all around the edges of my cookie cutter, making sure I'm covering every single area there. There we go. So you can see that I did a lot of glue in there. Set it to the side so I don't put a lot of sand on it. And now um, I think what I'm going to do is not pick up the cookie cutter until I shake the sand in there. <laughs> There's some more sand. Shake, shake, shake. And pat, pat, pat all over the inside of my cookie cutter. So I, if you don't have a raised cookie cutter, I'll show you how to make a stencil out of just a regular cookie cutter. Okay, so there we go. Should I take off my heart? Okay, now that's really thick sand. All of that sand is not gonna stick, I can tell already. But sand that's wet, slightly damp, is kind of clumpy, so you never know exactly what you're going to get. Here we go. <laughs> Some of that's going to fall off. A lot of it's going to fall off. What did I get this time? Oh, that turned out really good. Check that out. Whoa, that was better than the first one I did. So that's what you can do. So um, I'm going to take an, a cookie cutter and show you how to make a stencil from a cookie cutter in case you've got 
just up. Let's see, what do I got? Oh, I got kind of an interesting one here. Whoops. Plus it's at the bottom. There. <laughs> that I thought looked like a flower. And what I'm going to do with that is make a stencil out of that. Pretty easy to do. I, I just have some orange paper here because um, I'm running low on regular printer paper. So I'm going to use that. And I've got a marker. And I am going to draw around the edge of my shape. And it's going to be a flower. Whoops. I hope this turns out looking pretty good right now. It's looking a little wavy. There we go. Okay, took my marker and I traced it. There, you can see it. So now, again, we're going to show you how to make a stencil. I'm just going to pinch it. Pinch it right on an edge and make a little clip. So then I can take my scissors. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> this one's harder because it's smaller. Take my scissors and cut all around the edges Oops. of my cookie cutter flower. <laughs> All right, so you can really kind of experiment with making stencils and how much sand is going to stick to things. There. Now I have a flower stencil. That's pretty good. And maybe I might use this stencil a couple of times. Now you can use thicker paper, you can use cardstock to make your stencils and then use them more than once. Um, but they're harder to cut. <laughs> so we're going to put these on the floor. Now let's see what happens when we do um, some flowers on my green piece of paper. Let's do a series of flowers. So there's my stencil. I think I'll do three flowers on each. But you know, you can decide what shapes you're using and what pieces to use, like I said, you can even use the backs of cereal box cardboard for this. So I am putting some glue on my flower. Lots of glue. And I'm going to work fast because I'm going to move it. Another one right in the middle. I just had a good idea. I'm going to use the inside of my flower and make a shape. Watch this. Okay, here's my flower and I'm going to go like this. And I just cut the center there. What's that going to do? If I put some glue around that, what will that look like? Okay, I'm holding it down. Do, do, do. I put a center in my flower and now I'm going to pick it up. Whoa, all right. And I'm gonna move my flower one more time. Whoops, I can see where I missed. There we go. Oh, I missed some more. <laughs> so down it goes again. And I liked that center in there. So we're gonna do that again. That's gonna make a space where the sand won't stick because there's no glue on it. So there we go. All right, so there's my, got it? <laughs> Pull it off and I better hurry up and put some sand on that before the glue dries. What do you think? Uh-oh. Yeah, well, I'll leave that there, it'll be fine. Okay, shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 shake. All my sand. And I'm kind of spreading it out, making sure I got it all over my glue. Ah. <laughs> what will it look like this time? Let's find out. Oh boy, cool. Come in. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
All right, well, it is coming off slowly but surely. Oh, and I put this orange thing in the center. Oh, and I want to pull it off because I want to make an opening for where no sand sticks. There. Now, let's get the sand out of the way and I'll show you what we came up with. There, three flowers. <laughs> and you can do all kinds of different colors of, of cardstock or poster board that will work. And I wanted to do one more on a piece of white paper to show you what else you can do. Some, now you saw how I, um, how I made a stencil. Well, what I got left was the shapes that you either drew or that I printed out. You had those left over after you made the stencil. So we're gonna do a reverse stencil. And I need some more glue. And let's see what that turns out like. Um, I'm gonna stick some more glue in my little cup. And then I'm gonna do something else. Watch this. Here's a reverse stencil. A little bit of glue. I'm gonna hold down my star and I'm gonna paint all around my star. Oops, uh-oh. <laughs> that might not turn out good. Anyways, I'm gonna paint all around my star so it goes over the edges, all, oh, get out of the way, Moon. All around, like this. Do, 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 paint, paint, paint. I think I messed this one up. <laughs> Cause I was trying to do it fast. But if I'm really careful, I can get all the glue around the edges of my star. So now I'm gonna do that to the moon too. The moon and star. And there we go. Painting all around the edges for a reverse stencil. Let's see what it looks like. When I'm, uh, uh oh, <laughs> I might have screwed this one up too. We'll find out. If that happens. There we go. I'm going to put those to the side and get out my sand again. I think maybe I will. I'm kind of doing an experiment right here. I took the moon off, but I left the star on. Let's see if that makes a difference when I try to spread the sand. Okay, spread, 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 spread. Just trying to get sand all over everything that I put glue on. There we go. You think I did it? I think I did it. So, now what happens? Yep. Put the sand down, and oh wow, that's heavy. <laughs> I got a lot of sand on there. I overwhelmed my backing paper. It's, it's folding in, no, oh, no. Let's see if I can get it, here we go. Oh, cool. Now if I peel off that star, what do you think I'll get? Can you, oops, you can't see, just a minute. I should check my screen while I can see. There, my reverse stencil, and the star showed up. Wow, check that out. That looks pretty cool. I almost like that better than the other one. So you can experiment with this and just do all kinds of things that you can think of. I'm gonna do one more thing um, before I show you how to hang these. I think, what that black is a really cool color to do a sand painting on. And so let's do a black, a black sand painting. Um, what do I want to do? I think, you know, my moon and stars theme, I got a, a thing going on with moon and stars. So I think I will do moon and stars on black. There's a star. And here's my moon stencil again. So I'm gonna to have to do them one at a time because they're too big. All right, so more glue. <laughs> more glue, let's do glue on the star. What will this look like on black? Whoops. Let's 
find out I need some more glue. Boy, I'm using up a lot of glue today. That's all right. Okay, lots and lots of glue. Glue, glue, paint, paint, glue, glue, glue. There's my star. I think I got it. Oops, not that edge. I think I got it. All right, so glue and the moon. Well, that shows up really good on camera when you're trying to see where the glue went. That's good. All right, one more. Oh, boy, am I using up the glue or what? Okay, black, 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 black is a great color. And paint, 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 paint. Blue paint. <laughs> I think I got it. Oops. All right, so let's put that to the side. So I'm going to get too much sand in it. Pull it off. All right. And time for some sand for the last time and see what sticks. Okay. Now, if you, um, you do this in the wintertime, and oh, there's a rock. <laughs> I got a rock. <laughs> um, if you do this in the wintertime and you don't have any sand on hand, you can use salt. And you can even add color to salt with food coloring, let it dry out, and then you can get color paintings. But this is a really good summer kind of project because sometimes you go to the beach and you can get sand, or, or I have some right outside my house, except it rained. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pat it down just a little bit just to make sure that it's stuck, and then I'm going to pick it up and stick it back into my... Sand bucket. Whoa. Awesome. Check that out. That turned out really fun. All right. So that is, um, those are the sand paintings, things that you can do with them. But, you know, if they turn out really good, after they're dry, I'm going to do one that's been done for a little while. Oops, no, not that one. Um, I'm going to show you how to hang them. Just in case you want to hang them up on your wall. We did this really nice little um, heart. So um, you need some yarn. And you need a stick. So I am going to use a couple of my sticks and a, some yarn and show you how to hang them. Um, if you have a hole punch, you can put a couple of punches on your card like this and then take and I've got some yarn here I'm going to cut a pretty good length of yarn and I'll adjust it later as far as how long I want it but there's a pretty good string right there and then I'm going to put it into my hole and tie a little knot. Yep. And that goes on one side. Then you got another short piece and you do the same thing. Now, if you do it without a stick, it's probably a little easier. But the stick kind of makes it look really cool. And I have a piece of driftwood too. So sand and driftwood kind of go together. Whoops, I won't bother. And that works really good too. So, okay, there's your loops. And there's your stick, and you can adjust them so they're the right length, like this. There we go. So I'm going to show you what it would look like with a smaller stick and a piece of driftwood. Driftwood and sand look pretty good together. See? So I'm going to switch my camera back so you can see that a little better. Because I've got quite, there we go. 
So you can hang it from a stick on a piece of driftwood. And I didn't do these the same length, but you can adjust those so it looks really good. And that's it. So let's see what you guys did. Oh, look what you got. All right. Well, thanks for everybody for joining us. And we hope that you join us next time. Uh, again, a week from today, we're going to do another Get Crafty. So you can join us for that Tuesday at 11 o'clock. You can also join us for story time on Thursdays. Sometimes we're creating a story together. Sometimes we're telling tall tales about constellations and folk stories. And every Friday we're doing first step science where we explore the world and we look at invisible forces and scientific tools. So please join us for those. Those are all at 11 o'clock. They're all free right now. All you have to do is go to www.greatlakeskids.org slash news dash events. And uh, you can jump on those live and you can also look at archive videos there. And if you're interested in supporting programming like this and keeping programs on the air while the museum doors are closed, you can always donate to the museum by going to www.greatlakeskids.org slash donate. And there's lots of information on that there. So again, we hope you join us next time. If you have any questions, let us know. And uh, otherwise we will say goodbye. Bye. Bye.